So these are the products that I use. We'll start off with the washing. I've been using this product by Megwars. It's a gel wash, marine RV. It's highly concentrated. It will not strip wax. That's important. I've had some great success with this. It says 54 washes. I also use this Zip Wax. I, mean, I use this generally on the truck. This more on the RV. Both of these products will not strip wax. That's important. Moving on to the final waxes. I use this Turtle Wax Super Hard Shell. Generally use this on the truck. And then this Star Bright Marine Polish with TP. T P T E F. I use this on the truck camper. This is great stuff. It creates a really slick surface and generally if you go out on a trip all I have to do when I get back is just hose off the camper. I don't even have to wash it. So I've had some great success with this product. You can purchase it on Amazon and again it has the PTEF in it so it creates that slick surface and it buffs on and it buffs off very easily. Moving on to the cleaners. This is the Turtle Wax Car Nuber Cleaner Wax that I apply first and then that second as the final coat. And also I use some polishing compounds. This is a light to medium. They also have a heavy duty cleaner for buffing out those scratches and blemishes. Moving on to the cloths, I use these Dollar Tree microfiber cloths to apply, to buff off the waxes. Both of these, I, I use this to buff off. You can buy these for in a two pack for one dollar. It's a great deal. And then for the final buffing, to go over everything again after I buffed everything off and I'll just typically go over the vehicle again I use this Dollar Tree very soft chamois it works excellent you can buy one of these for a dollar at Dollar Tree for buffers and polishers I do have a nine inch buffer polisher I really rarely use this I generally do all of the buffing and polishing by hand utilizing these microfiber towels and also these polishing cloths. I just find that it's more effective and I can get a little bit more accomplished doing it by hand than using one of these because after using one of these I still have to go over by hand using one of these to get the smaller areas that I couldn't get with the larger buffer. I have seen those smaller handheld palm type buffers I haven't tried one yet, but I have been wanting to try one just to see how well they are. As far as these bonnets go, they have a different ones you can buy. They do sell microfiber ones that I hear very well. These are just cloth ones. You can also get sponges uh, instead of the microfiber ones. So there are a few different, different bonnets you can purchase depending on what it is that you're doing, if, what it is you're buffing or what it is that you're waxing. Just a couple things to keep in mind. So after you've thoroughly washed the vehicle with car wash, the first step I do is I take some of the cleaner wax and I use the sponges that they provide you. I find these to work the best. And I just apply a one coating of this cleaner wax all over the vehicle. And what this does is it removes some of the oxidation and it preps the surface for the final coat of the paste wax that I apply. I found this to be the most effective method personally for making the wax last a long time. Next step is buffing it all off by hand using the microfiber cloth. getting into all the small areas that removing the wax so it doesn't stick onto the vehicle and dry. So after I've applied the final coat of wax I go over the vehicle with my polishing cloth and polish and buff everything out a second time.
So what I do when I'm waxing is I'll work one area or section or one panel at a time so that I don't get too far ahead of myself and apply too much wax on the vehicle because if I do that then it will dry and then I will be essentially biting more than I can chew. So I do small sections at a time, wait for it to dry, and then buff it off. The wax that I'm using, the Turtle Wax products, I've had good success with removing the wax from parts such as mirrors and some of the vinyl trim pieces. So don't be too worried about getting wax on these areas. They should buff off easily. If you are concerned about it though, you can always use some masking tape and tape off these areas. Now for areas such as the back of this truck camper, this grip tape, this is not wax remover friendly. So if you get wax on this, it's going to smear and it's going to show up. So this is an area where it would be a smart thing to tape, mask tape the area off, or just leave yourself a three quarter inch gap from the edge of this grip tape. So that's how I wax my truck and RV. Always remember that it's a good idea to wax on a cool day or in the shade, if possible, out of the sunlight. If you have some other suggestions, please comment below and let us all know. Thank you for watching.